Well, hello again, guys. It's your buddy Greg, and welcome back to another video. So, what are we doing? BSR Record Changer, part four. And I apologize for the editing in the last part. Uh, I had some uploading problems there, because YouTube, or I don't know what it was. I'm not going to point fingers here. Frankly, I don't really care, because it, it seemed to uh, come out just fine. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm choosing toothpicks for this video, so we're going to get going here. All right, so I left. I asked, uh, as, I, as I usually do and as he usually does, I asked uh, for a response on this thing, and Oklahoma Bridges, being the guy he is, he comes over. Well, he didn't come over. He came, on my, came in the comments, and he said, okay, well, you can do this, this, and this. So we're going to be following his to-do list here today. He basically gave me a to-do list of sorts. Not that he's telling me what to do, but someone here knows what he's talking about and someone somewhat doesn't. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that OK Bridges suggested that I do is clean the tire on this thing. And he also said check it for flat spots. I don't see any flat spots on this, on this uh, tire. I don't know. I don't think this unit particularly needs to be replaced because it seems fairly round to me. That is very round, actually. Yeah, that one's good. Okay, let's get some uh, Q-tips here. Let me get my whole container here. I brought all the supplies, unlike usual. Okay, how would I... I guess we'll just go along it like that. Yes, viewers, very interesting activities here. Oh, I seem to have got... Oh, there's a little bit of dirt on this thing. Well, there is, there is a bit of crap on the tire. What do you know? I didn't. I didn't think there really would be. I suppose. I suppose there that motor shaft has oil on it, and we'll clean that off. Yeah, that's that's interesting. I guess what'd you expect, <laughs> Greg? I don't know what you know. What, I mean? what what is there to expect? They lubricate things. Oh man, I didn't know that. Yes, and of course lubrication got us into this problem, didn't it? didn't it? Thanks to BSR's great uh, lubrication system. I guess this thing would have needed maintenance anyway, but I have no idea what it would have needed. Let's just say in a perfect world here, BSR decided to lubricate this thing correctly. Is that rubber or is that grease coming off the tire now? I don't know. Okay, well, I think you get the idea of what's going on here with the tire. But as I was saying, what if they did it all correctly and everything. What if they just lubricated it with, with the correct, I don't know, what, it, what the correct, the quote-unquote correct oil, whatever, or lubrication, whatever that is. What if they did that, I wonder? What if they did that? Would this thing still be in perfect shape? Well, it seems to be running for the most part. I mean, obviously, the only problems here seem to be the ones that is my hand blocking the whole operation here? I think it is. Well, that is one clean tire, I say. And I think this thing needs to go back on a little bit more. Actually, eh, it's looking, yeah, it's fine. All right. And one other stupid thing here I was doing with the tire here, I had the changer set to start. And uh, when I was screwing around with it, you know, when I was moving it around and everything, or when I was moving the turntable around and everything, apparently that's not supposed to be what's going on here. And this is how it works. Let me just zoom in on this. So that motor shaft, just in case you didn't, uh, you don't know, I didn't know this. When you press or when you hit start this motor shaft, the tire gets put up against it. And that's how flat spots are created. That tire sits up against that shaft and... If it's not spinning, then yeah, if it sits like that for a while, it's it's probably gonna develop a flat spot and you're gonna have to change the tire. One thing I've just noticed, is it supposed to be spinning like that? You'll see what I mean. Is it is it warbling a little bit? Like is there a little bit of a how should I explain is is the tire not straight? Ever so slightly. 
Uh, that's interesting. I don't know about that one. Okay, and on, not, not only that, but I was supposed to... I'm supposed to put a uh, drop of oil in the center bearing. Well, I can't even get to the center because that clip won't come off. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong, but that clip does not want to seem to come off. And not, well, I guess I'd be a bit more aggressive with the clip if this wasn't a rubber tire that could very easily be bent. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. I guess we'll just leave the tire alone, considering it seems to be spinning fairly freely. And I looked at the underside. This this tire is riveted, on, or at least the the spindle that the tire is sitting on is riveted to the uh, changer. Or it's it's you know what I mean, riveted to the changer. One of the little components there, it's riveted to something. And we'll clean the motor shaft as well. While we're at it, I'm not getting anything off of it. How interesting. Or do I have to turn it and spin it like, do it like that? Oh crap! I don't want to get, I don't want to get a bunch of, I don't want to get this thing all tangled up inside there. Which I thought I almost did there for a second. Let me pull it out. That wasn't too smart, viewers. This thing seems to be fairly clean, actually. This this shaft. That's interesting, and it sits. Oh, fuzzies on there. Okay, well, I'm not cleaning that because. As you saw, it seems to be okay. And did I get a bunch of crap on there? Little fibers on this thing? Uh, huh, that's interesting. If any are on there. The motor itself spins very free. As you can see there, it's a very free spinning motor in that case. All right, well, what, what's the next thing to do on the list? Now, he didn't say, or maybe he did say oil the motor shaft. I guess I'll check back at that later. But the next thing we got to clean is the turntable rim. So let me just move, adjust the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. And you can see across the table, there's newspaper there. The Eclipse is over there. Not a great, uh, how should I put it? Okay, so anyway, that's how that went. Um... <laughs> I got interrupted there, that's why I had to stop the camera. But anyway, so what I've been doing here is just cleaning this off. This, uh, I don't know if you'd call that a gear or what you'd call it. I think that's a gear. Or at least you'd call that a gear, I hope so. But anyway, I've been cleaning uh, the turntable rim, which is this. This isn't really a belt. I don't know what you'd call it. Well, it's a piece of molded plastic. And... And it's got some, some crap on it there a little bit. Some little bits there. And it wasn't, this isn't that dirty. This whole little drive assembly is not dirty. Is this coming off? What? What's going on here? Let me just check for a second. All right, there is a little bit. Let me get a new Q-tip. Yes, there's movement in the house in the night here. And I, can you see what time it is? Oh, no, you can't, you can't see the palm quality ice cream clock. It's a, it's eight o'clock at night here, viewers. That's what I, this is what I do here at this hour. I don't generally do these things, but I kind of want to get this project done. Okay, well I think this is that is okay. That is clean. There's not much going on in there. And uh, okay, what are we doing next? We clean that off. Clean the tire. Bent the tire. No, I'm just kidding. Clean that, clean the motor shaft, kind of, well, I mean, it's as clean as it'll, as it'll get at this rate. I think, okay, well, I'm going to go check the to-do list. Okay, viewers, now that we did those little things there, we can get to the main attraction. So here's the main attraction, is the thrust bearing and washers. Now, what's going on here is this is... The turntable rides on this, and I didn't, I kind of realize, I don't know. What Greg thinks is a mystery half the time. Anyway, um, <laughs> the turn, the, okay, I'm going to use my hands here. This is ridiculous. The turntable rides on these, on that washer, and that's, that thing there, it's called a thrust bearing with those ball bearings, and I don't know if those ball bearings are going to come out the second I lift it up. No, I guess they won't, because they didn't the first time I did it. 
Although it seems smooth, it's not as smooth as one would think. Actually, I'm gonna leave that there. And now, I'm going to clean the washer, which is in the alcohol there. And uh, we'll, get back, we'll get back to you once it's clean. And I'll be using Q-tips and stuff to clean it. So, you get the idea of what I'm doing. So, what I've been doing, viewers, and I'll just get the everything in place here. I've had the washer like this, and I've been using this brass wire brush. Someone suggested a toothbrush. And I don't know if this necessarily makes a difference. Obviously, a brass wire brush would destroy your gums. There's no, <laughs> there's no question about that. But yeah, that's a clean washer. Now, so we can put that there. And now we'll get to the really great one, the quote unquote fun one. The thrust bearing with its four, four, five ball bearings. Five ball bearings. Uh, 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 oh, I don't wanna be touching this with my hands. But I haven't got a choice. Well, of course I got a choice. Here, let me pick this up. Watch as Greg struggles to pick up a thrust bearing. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. This thing is covered in grease. Okay, those ball bearings. Yeah, those ball bearings don't look like they're gonna come out. Really nice for whoever's working on uh, said device. You know, that, that, that'd be something if a thrust bearing, if the ball bearings came out every time you picked it up or whatever. <laughs> something like that that'd be quite the quite the pain in the neck and I can't imagine anyone wanting to work on a thrust bearing after something like that and we'll scrub this out okay you can't see what I'm doing viewers but it doesn't look like okay brass wire brush is not going to pull this one off where can I move the camera I guess I'll have to move it over here somewhere Okay, you'll see what I mean in a second here, viewer. I know it's not professional to zoom in during these things. But yeah, you gotta really scrub these things. There it is. There's the little thrust bearing. In all its horrible BSR glory. I think it's upside down, actually. I don't know that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, we'll get the, the toothpicks and everything nearby. And we'll begin. Okay, let's get this going here. I got the changer right nearby. This is a very bizarre angle I'm working at. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of here. Uh, man, oh man. Okay, there we go. Now, I think it's a little bit... Uh... Should I put it on? Okay, I gotta move the, the record changer. The re I know you can't see what I'm doing. The record changer is in my way. There we go. I'm gonna hold this in place. I guess what you could do is stick a, two, uh, a, a, a Q tip through there and just dig all that crap out. Holy mackerel. Maybe you didn't mean to do it a little better. Maybe I should get another toothpick. And hold it. Part of, part of the battle is just holding the thing. All right. Let's just wipe it on. I recommend getting newspaper or whatever. Am I popping the ball bearings out of here? Or what's going on? And, uh, yeah, you just have to more or less scoop all of this out. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite the, quite the task. Might be another way of doing this, I wonder. I don't know if there is or Well, I guess there's always a second way of doing something. There's a second way of everything. But it seems like... It seems like this is an okay method. Because it seems to be getting all the crap out, and that's what you want. That's the idea. Although there may be a better... There may be better methods, I don't know. Anyway, you get the idea of what I'm doing. If I come across some development, I'll tell you. Okay, so we're back the next night. And I let the thrust bearing sit in the mineral spirits overnight. And it seems to be good. All the, all the ball bearings roll very smooth. Nice and smooth like they're supposed to. And uh, let me just try and do a bit of a test here. Is that going to... 
can't see if it's any. Oh, that one doesn't seem to be. Oh, no. No, never mind. It's good. These these uh, ball bearings are just pressed into this. Uh, must be aluminum. I don't know what precisely this is. But uh, they're, pr they're pressed into this disc here. And there, I see there's a bit of crap still in this thing. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to clean it up. I'm actually going to clean this a little bit more. There's a little bit of crap left in this thing. That little dark spot on the end of the Q-tip. And, uh... Yeah, but it's it's almost good, I'd say. And then we'll clean the last washer. And then we'll grease this thing and put it back together. And I don't know if I'll have to split this into two videos. I might have to do that because YouTube may screw me over. Well, <laughs> YouTube didn't screw me over to begin with. Or maybe they did. I really don't know. Anyway, I may have to upload this part in two videos. Now, make sure when you're doing this... Oh, yeah, and I should probably show you something else here as well. This is how I was cleaning it. I had my uh, pliers here, and I just had it like that on the pliers. I wasn't pressing on them. And what I was doing is I was scooping all the crap out and whatnot. So that's what I was doing earlier off camera. Something like that, anyway. Make sure what you do... In this stage, and I know, I know, right now, suddenly I'm getting all tutorialized. Is that even a word? Oh, we're not focusing. There we go. Make sure you get up on the sides of the ball bearing, because all sorts of other crap might come out of this. Come out of the sides here. Yeah, there's stuff coming. I know I can't see it, because uh, someone's not showing it, but yeah, you get the idea. Go up and uh, pick out the sides of the bearings. Anyway, I'll come back to you when I've got some uh, development. Okay, we are back, and the wash, the last washer is in the alcohol, and the thrust bearing is clean. Got to get that on camera correctly. That's looking clean if you ask me. Pretty sure this thing's made of aluminum. But anyway, the thrust bearing is cleaned out. And, uh, yeah, that rubber washer on the turntable, that does not need cleaning, because that would... I'm pretty sure that's not what you do with something like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's continue and work on, and, uh, yeah, if I could get my words out, that'd be great. Now I'm second-guessing myself, viewers. Does that washer need anything? That's a really interesting question, because it's, well, in theory, it shouldn't turn, or you'd think it wouldn't turn, because there's a washer on top of it, and then there's a thrust bearing, and then there's another washer on top of that. So, should that turn? I don't think so. It'd be literally rubber on metal. And uh, I don't think, in the way this is set up, I don't think that'd be very good for the rubber washer. So I don't think that'll need anything. It's got the original lubrication on it. But uh, I think we can get away with it. And not only that, I'm also wondering about the cam gear. This has some lubrication on it very little i don't know if that needs anything i mean when when this was i didn't tell you guys this but there actually was a brief period when the changer was working uh in between uh oh man how do i even explain this basically i had it it was playing slower as you all know and then about half an hour of running it like that it started to speed up and go the correct speed and then the next day it slowed back down again because it had been sitting for a number of hours well you don't have to, the person shouldn't have to uh, run their record changer for half an hour just to get it to play the right speed. So, but yeah, that was a good start though. It was a start. It was functioning correctly. Anyway, it seems like the cam is okay, but I may have to go back and do something with it. I don't know. I think it'll be okay looking at how it is. Okay, viewers, so we cleaned the second washer. And now here comes the fun bit. But uh, we're gonna do that in the next in the next part. So hopefully the editing won't be too shoddy here. And uh, yeah, viewers, see you in the next part. So this is all part four. So don't get confused. I know it was confusing last time because I was uploading parts with no context. Okay, anyway, viewers, part four should be coming right after this one.